Friends, in this video, I'm going to start a new series for I Thought Wealth called Different Shades of DIY. Do it yourself is a very broad term. All of us could come under the term. Investors, speculators, those who are very conservative, those who are moderately aggressive, those who are too aggressive, those who love speculation, those who do only speculation. So the nature of investing of a do-it-yourself investor can vary from one end of the spectrum to another. So it could be sparkling white or rich black. In between, there's lots of gray. In this series, we are going to start at the sparkling white end of the spectrum and then gradually move and move towards the right and speak about what are the dark sides of DIY. First, the brighter side. And in this video, we will talk about sparkling white DIY. I've seen many investors whose investing is very clean, very, very crisp and full of character. When the investing is full of character, it reflects the personality of the person who is the investor. In such instances, DIY investing stands out, it is stellar. Often these investors beat professional managers. They are so clear, so precise that their actions carry very high conviction and they carry that conviction for a very long time and the results are outstanding and outlier. Effectively, how you build conviction, how you carry the conviction and how you execute your conviction into actions is very, very important for the success of DIY. A sparkling white DIY investor is someone who is very good at it. He is very, very plain, he is very clear and he has a clear do's and don'ts list and follows it to the T. What are these traits that I have seen in a sparkling white DIY? First, he keeps it simple and straight. He does not go all over the place. He has a very precise list of what he can do. He invests to a certain formula and a certain method. He never deviates from that. So the clarity with which he approaches his ideas is so high that he does not touch anything that does not fall within his zone of comfort. Something could be just outside his zone of comfort, he'll let it pass. Whereas something sitting in the middle of his zone of comfort, he will go all out to buy and he will do it with conviction and with a lot of emphasis. That conviction and emphasis doesn't come overnight. It comes because he has made the effort to be there, to reach that place where he is ready to receive that conviction and execute. By following method, process and a clear zone of comfort in his investing, this sparkling white DIY is someone who knows what he wants and more importantly, he knows what he does not want and he stays very close to only what he wants. He doesn't bother about what happens in the rest of the market and he doesn't worry about what happens every day. Typically, this investor doesn't check his portfolio every day. He doesn't worry about what happened to the Sensex or Nifty. He doesn't worry about what the FIIs did. He's not worried about which mutual fund bought which stock. He is comfortable owning a few stocks which symbolize economic opportunity in the country. His portfolio is his investment proxy to India and he knows how to manage it with just a handful of stocks, maybe something between 10 and 20 and he does not look beyond that. To include another stock in his portfolio, he takes a long time and he doesn't look externally for ideas. The idea has to come to him and he waits for the idea and when the idea comes, he works on it and tests it, validates it and converts the idea into one of conviction. And when that conviction keeps growing inside him, he takes it forward into an investment. So the sparkling white DIY is an investor who is very clear, who is concentrating 
on his investing like nobody else and who cannot be distracted. And it is this personality trait that helps him build a portfolio of anything between 10 and 20 stocks with low churn, high conviction, distributed position sizing and long holding period. And the returns are better than his peers and better than benchmarks. Whenever he gets incremental savings, he puts it back into this very portfolio, either into the existing idea which looks most attractive when he has the liquidity or into a new idea which he thinks must find a place in his portfolio. There is nothing he does frivolously, no flippancy in his actioning and very clear thought process on why, how and when he must invest. Thank you for watching this video. Do continue to see this series and stay the course with us. Sparkling White DIY is the first in a series of videos on different shades of DIY. Thank you.